New Super Mario Bros. While in retrospect the title might not have been the best idea in the world, it was still a pretty damn good game. Today we're going to be going back to the very start all the way on to World 1-1 and we're going to set our AI loose and see what it can do. But before we jump into the training, here's a quick little overview of how the AI is actually working. To begin with, our game, or as it's technically called our environment, is going to give our AI a few images. After that, because our AI enjoys a nice 1950s throwback, it's going to shrink the image down and make it black and white. Or maybe it's some other reason, there's really no way to tell. But regardless, our AI is going to use this information to try and pick an action, whichever action it thinks is best. I've given our AI four different actions to play with, including run left, jump, run right, and sprint right. I didn't think sprinting left was quite necessary, since you very rarely actually use that action. Once this action has been taken, the game will update and then it will provide the AI with a reward. This reward is really crucial in the AI actually learning, as this is what it uses to select what it thinks is the best action. When other people have attempted to get an AI to play games like Super Mario Bros, they typically use the score, but to be honest, that's not quite what I'm interested in. I'm more interested in the AI just trying to finish the level as fast as possible than I am with it getting the best possible score. For this reason, instead of using the score, I'm just going to be using the X coordinate, or how far we've moved to the right. The further it moves to the right, the more reward it gets, all the way until it reaches the finish, when it then gets an even bigger reward. With all that out the way, and our AI ready to interact with the game, it's about time we start the training.